been thinking about money for a long time. Um, and re really, it's, it, it's, like, it's best to think of money as an information system, uh, primarily an information system for labor allocation. Um, and uh, for practical purposes, it exists in a series of uh, heterogeneous databases, like very different databases in uh, bank mainframes around the world. Uh, it uh, moves quite slowly in reality. It may seem to move fast sometimes, and it does with PayPal, which is real time. But uh, the vast majority of the systems out there are batch processing. So the actual uh, reconciliation may take uh, one to five uh, business days, uh, so sometimes longer. Um, and the, the, you have the ACH system, which is ancient and still still in operation, which is um, allows transfers uh, effectively like a, a check would be an ACH tra transfer, but it's it's not secure. And you've got the uh, credit card systems, which are also uh, not secure. It would be like handing your username and password to a stranger in a restaurant if, if you buy a meal. So um, there's, there's definitely an opportunity for uh, something that is uh, that is better from an inf information theory standpoint. So, um, and, and, and and there you can think of it like data data on a network, I think, is, is the way to view it. Um, what has the, the most throughput? What has uh, the, the least error uh, lost? What, what drops the fewest packets? Uh, fraud, fraud, for example, being a source of error. Um, and uh, uh, government interference in currencies being a source of error. Um, but it's, it's fundamentally an information system. So um, I think it makes sense to support something that uh, improves the, uh, the the quality of information with which we conduct the economy. Um, and you know, Bitcoin is uh, a candidate for that. Uh, it, is, it does, I think, some things well, um, and it's obviously, it's, it's evolving, and there are additional things like Lightning being done on top of Bitcoin. Um, but, but Bitcoin, per se, is mostly solving for uh, scarcity, um, or, or rather solving for uh, essentially um, having no throat to choke, decentralized. Uh, so there's, there's no one who can be uh, coerced in any way uh, to uh, empty that Bitcoin account. Well, I guess they could technically buy it on an individual basis, but the system as a whole cannot. Um, and, um, and it has an open ledger, uh, which is also quite, quite good. Um, but transaction volume is is low. Uh, transaction transaction cost is high, uh, and usability for the average person is is not is not yet very good. But it has a lot of potential. Um, and I should say that, like I, I'm not. And I apologize for taking a long time, but there's there certainly is lots to say. Um, in general, I'm a supporter of, of Bitcoin um, and uh, the idea of cryptocurrency in general. Um, uh, but as I've said publicly, we, we need to watch, to watch out for uh, crypto taking, uh, especially Bitcoin, using proof of work to maybe use energy that's maybe a bit too much uh, and, and not necessarily uh, in, uh, good for the environment. So, um, but on balance, I support Bitcoin, and I, I and I, I'm not an investor. I don't, the only publicly traded stock I own is Tesla, um, and the only significant thing I own outside of Tesla is, is, is my SpaceX stock that, that, that um, you know, could help create both companies. So, um, but, out, but apart from that, uh, I do own Bitcoin uh, and, and Tesla owns, owns Bitcoin, SpaceX owns Bitcoin. Um, and then I do personally uh, own a bit of Ethereum and, and Dogecoin, of course. So.